Power down! Power down! Basically, we have 600 pounds of uh, checked baggage to get through the TSA. <coughs> Excuse me. No, so that I can, can I can do that, and then it's secure. Well, sure, but yes. you can put more shit in there. Nah. What? What do you mean, nah? I'm gonna put the rest on top of that. Why? Because then it won't be secure. I don't care about the rest. Oh my god. We're gonna put the foam on top, and then everything will be Zero. secure. That's not okay. Fine. Okay, we're putting all of the light posts. No, 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 no. So the strategy is we're gonna put it all in one person, and they're gonna be the one yanked from the line. That'll be me. Are we I actually promise. putting all of the light posts in one bag? That's a bad idea. What's a bad idea though? There's definitely like a limit to the amount of battery. Here are all the light posts. Uh, we're pretty much maxing out the capacity that we're allowed to bring through the TSA. Each person has to take two with them, and we have like several sets. So this should be interesting to see how many people get pulled from the line. Am I gonna be in one of your yeah. famous YouTube videos? Of course. All right. Well, welcome to the Suxton Sloan blog. I don't speak English. Welcome to the Suxton Sloan blog, where the only thing that sucks more than the blog is the robots. Is this for scale? Is this for scale? Yeah, that's how we measure the robots. That's how big I am. I mean, you can measure you can measure any type of quantity with bananas. Like there's a there's a radiation measure hey, Milo, for bananas. You can use the average for... weight of a banana. Oh, really? You can use the weight of a banana for force. You multiply the mass by gravity. Bananas are truly the ultimate measure. Every single bag with a light bulb and it got pulled, but we've mostly made it through. <laughs> making more pit pass bots to make our lives less shit. Now we just pay for it like Uji motherfuckers. Yeah, Mandy spin up faster, but Roboto is moving. Mandy seems far more uh, mobile. He's getting all the hits yep. at the moment, sliding. Mandy has been in complete control of the fight so far. Now going drum on drum, still dominating. I think that that smaller footprint is able to get underneath. Yeah, and and it's oh pinned. my goodness! It's pinned. That is an unfortunate uh, way to get pinned on the I arena don't wall. I think that they're going to be able to get out of that one. No, and let's watch Mandy dance, again, spinning so fast the drum that it can lift its own wheels off the ground. I'm sure that their Roboto is rocking their tires back and forth. They're going to try to get free, but that's it. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Dustin. There goes the belt. <laughs> They are off, Mandy. Mandy doing a little bait and switch, getting first contact. But Herbert Servens just going to try to keep that uh, wedge pointed at the drum. That's the sturdy part. That's the part that's designed to take the damage. Already getting a little bit of air, and now, now slamming into the wall. The danger of the wedge coming into play. But Mandy is still spinning. And Mandy uh, going after the wedge, kind of has to. That wedge just takes up so much of the front of, the, of Herbert's revenge. Oh, That's a this good hit. time, this time, drum first. We've got uh, Herbert's revenge showing the speed. 
and how fast you turn on a dime. Well, we still have half of this fight to go. A minute 30 left on the clock. Yeah, we are just beyond the halfway point. Both bots still fighting. This is a tough one to call so far because they are both being very aggressive. And damage, not that much damage on either side. No one is coming off the gas pedal. They are both incredibly aggressive. Red hot sparks sending themselves through the RoboGames arena. Less than a minute on the clock now. And neither of these robots is giving an inch. There's Herbert Revenge getting a little bit of advantage. Mandy appears to be upside down now. And time is up. So this That's does three go. Minutes. That, that was a fast three minutes. Both robots did a very good job out there. 19 to 14. That's pretty close. A little, actually, not as close as I thought it might be. How'd your day go, bud? It was real good. We uh, fought some robots. Uh, <laughs> Mandy's uh, two and zero now, so uh, got some good fights out of her. Killed some robots. <laughs> completely destroyed the ro first robot. The second robot was a little bit harder, but uh, we still won. And then tomorrow we face a uh, Chinese robot from hell that's been destroying everything, so. No, it's actually called Railgun. Yeah, Railgun S. This is 2% right on the container. Hello, I come bearing a gift. Oh man, Trevor's in the shower. <laughs> you wanna go pay him a visit? Yeah. It was not me. I was a cameraman. I don't blame it on the I camera. was the cameraman. Oh, we've begun. Look at that. Deep Six is, is slower to spin up, whereas Cassowary spinning Kasawari up immediately. Cassowary actually ends up uh, maneuvering itself out of the way of a hit. I think it just might be uh, a little bit of woundedness from its fight against Bigly, where well, it's it took starting it. to speed, but now it's knocked over. Can he use? Can he use the disc to right himself at the moment? The bot is motionless. Now with that uh, poor spin-up time, it looks like uh, Deep Six may be Deep Sixed. Trevor, how you feeling? Feel pretty good. Yeah, a year's worth of work finally paid off. There it is, Railgun S. Railgun S taking a shot. That's the first time we've seen Railgun get stood up. Oh, another massive blow, but Railgun S bouncing into the wall, being able to right itself, and now delivering blows back to Mandy. This is going to be a good back and forth. It's just who is going to be damaged first. Mandy upside down, but it some, can run upside some down. Some front damage on Mandy. That was a very hard hit. Now the drum on Mandy is spinning downward. That could be uh, detrimental. Both the front edges of a, a oh, I'm seeing there's a there's a tire coming up. I, I yeah, thought the, I saw one of the front a tires. Or something coming up as well. Now one of the front tires on Mandy is damaged, so it's gonna have trouble driving now. It's upside down, having trouble going the direction it wants. But Railgun S not going forward either. It's going in wide circles. Looks like the left side of the drive on Railgun S not responding. around trying to take a bite out of railgun s and a head to head and now smoke pouring out of mandy the drum is stopped but still able to move the wheels are wobbling on mandy but now railgun s railgun s there's a pop and smoke the spinner is stopped the noise from railgun s the spinner works but the drive is stopped which means mandy is the one that's still moving 
And that's it. The winner is Mandy. Mandy in the red, evening it up. Holy cow. So we're here again, Dustin and your co-pilot. And you guys have just dethroned Tony and Real Gun S, who have been dominating this competition so far. How are you feeling about that? That was a, an adrenaline rush. Great driving from uh, Dustin over here. Well, what are you guys going to do about the next opponent? Because you're just climbing up to the top now. Yeah, I mean, it seems like we just melted some belts. We're going to replace those. seems like all the motors are still working, so we just got to swap out the extra armor, and uh, it should be working again. Awesome. Well, Mandy is just a beautiful robot. I love seeing it go. Uh, can't wait to see you guys getting further in this competition. So we just beat uh, Railgun, China's champion. Um, we've taken a lot of beatings, but... Uh, the armor did its job, it took most of the impact. We wrecked our drum, so we're gonna have to swap out all the dowel pins and bearings on the inside. The shaft is also completely bent, so we're gonna have to switch that out as well. Uh, but all in all, the robot's together, and it should, uh, we're just gonna take it apart and uh, swap out the broken stuff and move on to the semifinals. Uh, in the ring right now, Mandy going up against General. And this is a very important fight here in the middleweight bracket because whichever robot wins this fight moves on to the finals tomorrow. They will be one step away from taking the middleweight championship. And that's something that General in the blue square wants again because General is the reigning defending RoboGames middleweight champion. And they're off. General taking no time, dominating on Mandy right off the hop. Well, they know that Mandy can spin up to be very dangerous, and they want to end that as quickly as possible. Along the ground, so General another pushed it back massive door. hit. Piece of Mandy. coming off. Piece of Mandy coming off there. Even, like, these machines are so beefy. Get around to the back. There's up. Oh, the drum does work. Mandy's drum is backing up and running. And there it is. Training shots actually doing damage to the front of General. Corner of Mandy is gone entirely now. The drum is not spinning currently. General is now playing with Mandy. Still mobile. Uppercut. I can see a lick of fire. We see more smoke. Black smoke and flames licking up the top. Timeout, timeout. This is just a timeout. Not an official decision. This is just a timeout. She's a little bit charred. The speed controller exploded. Um, everything else works, I think. So we're just going to clean her up and uh, get the drum working again. The spinners begin to turn up, and it looks like there's Man. only one half of Mandy's spinner. Yeah, Mandy's got half a drum. Big uppercut once again, living up to its name as the drum goes silent. Might be turning the weapon off to get some distance. Uppercut raises a high spot on the floor. More sparks, another piece of Mandy's corner torn off. Remember, it's damage and aggression that the judges are looking for as Mandy has a good purchase on Uppercut. Uppercut going after the other corner now. Oh no! It seems that Man, uh, excuse me, Uppercut is rotating around its front right wheel. There might be, it, it is high sided by what looks like a chain. Yeah. This could be Mandy's fight using Uppercut's own weapon. There it is, but no! Using that gyroscopic Oh no, now Uppercut's upside down! It turned too far, now Uppercut's stranded on its head. It's they tapped dead in out. The water, they tap out. That's a win for Mandy! Three hours later. Fight! The fight has begun, General spinning up and acting aggressive as we know General will be. Both weapons active. Massive hit, Mandy sent up into the air by General. But there's Mandy's drum grinding against the floor. They had to hurry to repair that. A near miss by General, trying to hit at full speed. Mandy glancing blow. Shrapnel sent into the Robo Games Lexan. Mandy still right side up, bouncing that and way. Mandy topped off, and the panel comes up. The spinning drum adding secondary damage. I believe that's the same side that was damaged in its previous fight. General seeming to be able to dish out all the punishment here. And from behind now, being sent careening towards the crowd.
Mandy can take a beating. We've seen it before and sent into the air again. So far, this is all General. Or Shrapnel going up into the air. They stop the drum on General to get him out of the way. And another decisive blow. All General has to do right now is not make any mistakes. And they should have this one wrapped up. Mandy, so resilient, still being able to drive, even if the weapon is inoperable. Can General kill Mandy and walk away with gold? And it's free and ends up finding a punishing punch. The Brazilian team counting down. Final hits. And it will be going to our judges. However, I believe the favor is heavy in the direction of General. Here is Mandy after a final match. We lost, but it was a good one. We were driving all the way up to the very end. Um, we only got a few good hits in because the, uh, the pulley came loose because this got pulled forward. And uh, our Castle Creations ESC decided to send all of its current through the PWM wire, melting everything. The silver medal goes to Mandy from USA. So this is my last Robo Games. Been here for four years. It's I have to Robo say games. it was the most Perfect. successful competition that I've seen. Mandy got second place. I'm really happy that we went on such a high note. We have a lot of great leadership upcoming. We have good senior members staying for the for next semester. I'm ho hoping to see that it goes well next after I leave it. New PM speech. New PM speech. It better sure be better than town. Town. <laughs> it's going to be an honor and a privilege to serve all you guys. Um, definitely looking forward to it. This is my first Robo Games. Really had a good time. I think I really kind of got to know some of you guys a bit more. And uh, yeah, it's been a good time. Yeah, Robo Games. I switched to Trinket Box before you came here. <laughs>